Hello, ultrasound in infertility. Many times the many women they will be asking what is the use of ultrasound in infertility and what we are doing so many times ultrasound, why need to come and how many times and how it has been done. So, the first thing we know is that ultrasound is two ways, transabdominal and one is transvaginal. Generally, in fertility, we consent to the transvaginal ultrasonography. So, that is, a transvaginal probe will be inserted into the vagina. Then we see the follicle because that's a clear and near vicinity, so we get a clear picture. So ultrasound is key. Generally, we have a period of second day that we have ultrasound. So that is key. Which the pari, that is which the pari, the antral follicle got touch over it. Ultrasound is the first thing we have to say. Pelvis organ in the ultrasound is key. Key, the pari. What are structures that you can see in ultrasound? So TVS we can see the ovaries, we can see the uterus, basically these two and sometimes the bowel loop and all that can be visible. Reproductive point of view or the fertility point of view, second day the ultrasound gives us a clear picture of the ovary and antrals because the woman with number of eggs will be determined on the day two antrals how many follicles that you can see. So that gives a clear picture what is the ovarian reserve for that particular woman. So, one of the things we can do is we can do the treatment of the ovary. Next, ultrasound is necessary for the follicular tracking or follicular monitoring. Now, follicular monitoring can be done in many times. In a normal pregnancy, when you are trying naturally, then also the follicular monitoring is there. We can track the follicle and track the follicle. We can do the ultrasonographically transvaginal scanner. The follicle will grow very much. Generally, the follicle will grow very much. 1 to 2 millimeter per day so that is we have to follow up on day 7 then day 9 or day 10 and then day 12 and day 14 so normally jokhan tadir follicular development track kora hai for a normal ovulatory woman we generally see on day 7 once day 2 day 7 day 9 or 10 and for 4 times so baseline follicular size around 8 to 10 millimeter take a shuru hai Kore around it comes up to 18, 20 or 22 millimeter and following which the follicle ruptures. Normal follicular tracking, we see once the follicle ruptures the fluid into the pouch of Douglas and from there we can find out that the follicle has been ruptured. It helps to tell the patient that they should have sex or intercourse before this so that have the maximum chance of conception during this period. So follicular infer, follicular monitoring in fertility is very important for a normal patient's point of view who are not getting pregnant with regular intercourse to determine the timing and for also for point of view of IVF stimulation to see the follicle measurement. Hope this information is very helpful to you. Thank you.